In this video, I will demonstrate the making of a Crunchworks hammer or mallet, depending on what you think a hammer or mallet is. So what we're starting with is a two and a half pound loaf of HDPE plastic. You can see that there's really cool marbling in it and I'm excited to get inside and see what it actually looks like. Oftentimes the black surrounds the outside and you don't really know. So I begin by cutting off the excess from the mold in a bandsaw. I use a lot of wood equipment for cutting this plastic and it works really well. Uh, also metal cutting equipment works well too. So at this point I want to comment that I'm having trouble getting the time-lapse sound to work correctly. Um, I tried and it sounded like crap. Okay, here you can see the marbling uh, is becoming evident. Always, it's really cool when you make the first cut. I am roughing out a approximate square shape or a square prism shape to this loaf. The closer I can get to square, the better when I put it on the lathe. Here's more examples of what it winds up looking like once you cut off the outside layer. In order to mount it up on the wood lathe, I'm going to use a back plate. These are typically used for making bowls. Okay, that lathe back plate fits on the same threaded fitting as this three jaw chuck, so I have to remove it first. And just thread on the back plate. So to begin with, I am using a gouge to rough out a more cylindrical shape. And I'm doing an end cut right now. So what I'm doing here is looking to get a perfectly cylindrical end so that I can take it off of the back plate and mount it in the three jaw chuck. And there it is. And now I'm doing more roughing to get all the edges off of the entire block and hopefully end up with something that's at least round, if not per perfect.
you can see how much material comes off when I'm doing this and in the future I'll be looking for better methods to create a cylinder blank rather than a loaf blank because I really do lose a lot of material and I hate it alright so since I took the blank out and turned it around I want to remount it in the lathe uh, in a really precise manner so I'm using the uh, dial indicator to make sure that it's squared up or rounded up before I go back to work on it. Okay, now that I've got a perfectly round blank, I'm taking it over to the metal lathe and again I'm using the dial indicator to make sure that it's straight where I want it. The three-jaw chuck doesn't actually straighten the things out, it just approximates it. So with the indicator I can find out where the high points are and just give them a little tap and eventually get satisfied. Here I'm, here I'm using a center drill to make a divot in the end of the blank so I can attach the live center. I'm using a parting tool to clean up the edge at the end. Alright, now I'm just using my hand to feel about where I think the handle and the head should be, and I'm separating that difference again with the parting tool. Okay, now I'm going to shape the mallet head with a uh, lathe cutting tool. And later I realized I could use the auto feed for this instead of manually cranking it. And it really does result in a better finish to use the auto feed. Maybe I'll demonstrate that on a later video. The nice thing about the metal lathe is that I can get the head shape perfectly cylindrical, perfectly straight and it makes for a very nice finished product. So for the last cut over here I'm going to use that same tool to make a facing cut on the end of the cylinder. And this results in a nice square even finish and I just finish it up with a file to deburr it. Okay, so we're back on the wood lathe, and now I'm going to shape out the handle. I'm using a variety of tools here, just depending on what shape I want. This is an iterative procedure where I shape out what I think it's going to feel like and then I turn the lathe off, feel it with my hands and see if that's what I want a hammer handle to feel like. Right now the end is too bulbous and it's very uncomfortable to hold. So I've removed the tailstock so I can shape the tip of it to give it a nice round edge. All right, now that feels good. it passes inspection. Okay, as is typical with machine work, I finish up a really nice job by stamping in poorly aligned letters.
The trick with letter stamps is to only hit them once with the hammer. So you need to be very sure with your blow. There it is, crunch works. Off camera I finished this out with some paint and then wiped it off with acetone leaving it just in the grooves. Wow, it is quite the pounder. Thanks for watching.